This show is brought to you by Insurance Awareness Coordinators Group and the German Development Corporation through GIZ. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. My name is Ochiame Kwame. I'm your linguist for the recovery stories. And you know that on this show, we sit down with insurance beneficiaries, relevant stakeholders, to talk about the insurance claims processes that we have in Ghana. And this show, we look at the do's, the don'ts, the myths, and the truths. This show is brought to you by the Insurance Awareness Coordinators Group and the GIZ. Today on this show, we are talking about an insurance policy which is related to flooding, and you know how relevant it is. So stay tuned. Even if you live on a hill, you have a cousin in the valley. So stay tuned, and you are welcome to Recovery Stories. Insurance pays! Notify, submit, get free. Insurance pays! Notify, submit, get free. We'll be right back. around 2019 December that passed on at the hospital I was really really confused as to what to do I was told to report back the next day uh, to give my statement after uh, all that was done they finished they called me that it was ready I went in for it and I took it to my insurance company I had a call from the insurance office they then told me that they've gotten all the documents and they will get back to me. Within two, two to four days, I had my money. My name is Micah Tiria Fendi. Hi, my name is Edmond Nakao. Hello, I am Verita Nsaki. Insurance pays. Notify, submit, and get paid. Thank you. So the President of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Abdodankwa Ekufuado, last week in a speech in Canada made an emphatic statement that if we are to keep the flooding situation that we have on our streets and in our homes, Ghanaians, all of us, must change our attitudes and stop intentionally throwing rubbish into the gutters when we realize that it is raining. Now, whether it is Ghanaians who are intentionally causing the flooding, whether it is an act of God, whether it is the size of our streets. That is a conversation for another day. With me to talk about floods and insurance policies, please give it up to my own brother, Mr. Paul Tetelai, Managing Director of Arita Insurance Brokers. Thank you very much. So with all the rampant floods that we have in Ghana, do we have insurance policies to cover them? Yes, Kwame. Um, we have uh, insurance policies to cover them. Our regular fire and allied perils policy provides cover for floods. And then uh, the assets or risk uh, policy also provides cover for floods. And then when you come to your car insurance, your comprehensive insurance policy provides cover for floods. So I really want to know about allied perils and how it affects floods. So um, allied perils uh, on a policy, mainly a fire policy, um, are associated perils to, to uh, fire. So we've got earthquakes, we've got flood cover, we've got strike, commotion, and then um, earth, uh, rain or, or um, uh, windstorm which are all covered under the fire policy. So is it that if I have a fire policy and I pay something small, it extends into floods and other related things like even during strikes 
when people are destroying things rampantly. Can you please uh, expand it small? Exactly so. So your regular standard fire policy, you pay a top-up premium or additional premium, um, and then you have cover for these allied perils such as flood, earthquake, strike, um, uh, demonstration, people go on demonstration, and then you are, you are, you are covered for all those uh, allied perils. Okay. In your professional capacity, how relevant is this particular insurance? Look, flood, flood cover is very relevant. Um, uh, nowadays, these rains that are coming up, uh, once uh, it rains, there are floods here and there. If you have a business uh, and you have flood cover, you are covered for your stock and then the building itself is covered. If you have uh, home insurance, um, flood, uh, once you, your, your, your house is flooded, the contents are covered, the building itself is covered. If you have comprehensive insurance, once your, your, a flood occurs and then it, it goes into your vehicle, the vehicle can be changed for you, um, the engine can be changed, or even the cleaning of the vehicle if other things are not damaged are also covered. So I am home watching right now, or I want to extend my insurance policies to cover the allied perils. What am I to do? You, you basically speak to your broker or to your insurer. Um, you will fill a, a proposal form. You will provide values or estimated values for the content or the assets that you want to insure. The, your insurance broker or the um, insurance company will provide you with a quotation. Once you agree on the premium, you make a payment of the premium and then you are covered, basically. So let's just say, unfortunately, um, the rains that came yesterday destroyed my wall or it caused some damage to my home. What am I to do? What are the step-by-step-by-step -by -step -by -step process that I'm supposed to go through so that I can get my claim and have my wall back? So the, it, it's a simple three-step process. You notify, you submit, and then you get paid. In, in terms of the notification, you can make a call to your broker. You can uh, send an email or a WhatsApp message to your insurance broker or the insurance company. Um, uh, once you, you uh, notify, they will give you a claim form to fill. You provide the necessary documentation and evidence of the damage. And then the insurer or the broker uh, assesses the damage uh, in terms of agreeing on the cost of repair or replacement. And then once there's an agreement, you get paid for whatever you have submitted. One of the key problems that we are having with insurance penetration in Ghana is that people do not trust that their claims will be paid. And secondly, is that the timing. So as a broker, a person has lost a car or a house or a property through floods or fire. How quick are you able to sit between the client and the insurance company so that I need timelines, how quick? Look, for us at Arite, once you notify us by text or phone call, we will assist you to fill the claim form within a day or two, get, you, get the estimates or invoices in terms of um, the cost of repair or replacement, and then we submit it to the insurer. And then we do the legwork for you, we chase the insurance company for your claims. And then within a week or less, you can get your payment. Within a week yes. or less, or less, you can get your Payment, wow. Yes, but are you not supposed to go and get a police report? Even though now you you've lost your house or you've lost your car, now you must go and get a police report. Uh, I mean, how do you how are you able to manage all that in one week? So for your broker, once the costs are not astronomical, um, and there is always evidence uh, to back the claim, which we will assist you to do, um, you don't necessarily need a police report. The evidence is there. We all know that the flood has occurred. We've taken pictures, we've submitted it, it to the insurer. It's a matter of agreeing on the costs involved. And then once we agree with your insurance company, you get your pay your, the payment of your claim. Thank you very much for watching the Recovery Stories on TV3. And before I became a presenter to this particular show, I, and whenever I heard of a broker, I thought that I had lots of monies to pay. But I didn't know that the broker's fee is not charged to you. So feel free to call a broker. We are talking about insurance and we are talking about allied perils and it's related to flats. So we will be right back. My name is Ochiame Kwame. Insurance pays! Thank you.
around 2019 December, that passed on at the hospital. I was really, really confused as to what to do. I was told to report back the next day uh, to give my statement. After uh, all that was done, they finished, they called me that it was ready. I went in for it and I took it to my insurance company. I had a call from the insurance office. They then told me that they've gotten all the documents and they will get back to me. Within two, two to four days, I had my money. My name is Micah Teria Fenny. Hi, my name is Edmond Nakao. Hello, I am Vera Tansaki. Insurance pays. Notify, submit, and get paid. Thank you, thank you. You are welcome back to the Recovery Stories, an initiative of the Insurance Awareness Coordinators Group and GIZ on TV3. And this is where we demystify all the insurance problems that we have in Ghana. And before we went on the break, Mr. Lai was talking to me about some of the things that actually delayed the insurance claims processes in Ghana. So, Mr. Lai, can you please expand it for us? Okay, so the, the thing is, um, uh, Clients fail to notify the insurer when there is a loss. Um, they fail to submit the relevant documentation in terms of the claim form, invoices, and related documents that will support the claim. And they fail to provide evidence, pictures of, of the incident that has occurred. Uh, these are the things that uh, are basically uh, delay the process. You see, uh, the insurer is in his office and then um, you, you, you indicate that a loss has occurred. You have to bring him evidence or documentation that shows that uh, these things actually happened and then these are the costs that are related to it. And that is how the insurer will... will Mr. Uh, Lai, when you guys are coming to take our money, <laughs> you come to our homes and our offices and you knock on our doors. Mm. But when the flooding happens, then now we must bring you. Why can't yes. you send someone to come and see exactly if it has so. actually happened? So, so for us at Arite, all you have to do is send a WhatsApp message or call us. And then we're at your doorstep. We'll take you through um, getting the evidence, um, uh, uh, getting the re relevant estimates of cost of repair. Uh, and then we will do the legwork of submitting it to the insurer. And then it makes your work much easier. Okay, so tell me. How small, because I know that it is really small, it's a really nominal figure. How small or big is the amount of money that you add to your fire um, insurance so that you'll be covered in case there's flooding? It, it's relatively small. Uh, basically, your regular fire policy um, added with the per, uh, additional perils or allied perils will come at a cost of 0 0.25 up to 0.5% of the value. 0 0.5, it, 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 so regular fire policy is say 500 cities. Yes. How much am I paying to cover for flood? Oh, so it ranges. About 50 Ghana cities extra will provide you cover for flood. Talking about cover, mm -hmm. what can be covered? Because I know that if I have a farm and it rains and it floods, it is not part of these regular perils. So what can be covered? So I'll, I'll address your, your, your farm uh, one first. Uh, flooding on the farm can be covered under the agri insurance pool. That one, there's a specialized uh, uh, unit that takes care of it. You should be registered, and then they will provide cover for that. Under the ordinary fire and allied perils, um, you can cover your house, your, home, your, 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 your uh, content in the house. You can cover your business in terms of the structure itself or the stock or the content that you have in the business. And then if you have a vehicle as well, you can cover it under comprehensive insurance uh, 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 policy. So if insurance is this good, why are Ghanaians afraid to pay that small money so that they'll be covered? I, I think it's the education. Um, people assume that uh, insurance is some kind of mystic 
uh, 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 thing and that it's, it's, it's expensive. But ordinarily, it is not. Um, we have to sensitize people about uh, the importance of insuring and that the whole thing is not uh, that expensive. As I indicated, having you, you indicated, 500 Ghana cities will provide you cover for um, uh, 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 fire and then flood. So it's, it's not that, that expensive. See, I have an uncle. Of. He will not pay for insurance mm -hmm. because he has prayed over his properties. Mm -hmm. How do we deal with this? So it's good to pray, but the same person who prays also provides uh, a, a wall and then a gate and probably even a security guard. So um, once you are praying over your business, praying over your property, take a small token, take out 500 Ghana cities, take out uh, 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 600 Ghana cities and provide cover for that asset that you've, 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 you've your hard-earned money has been able to purchase. You have bought a TV in your, in your house. You bought your furniture. It came at a certain cost. 0.5% of that uh, uh, asset will not hurt too much. It's just an additional cost that you will pay, and then you have cover. And the good thing is that once flood occurs and it is damaged, you have your receipt or you have your invoice, you take it to the insurer, and the insurer will reimburse you or buy you a new one based on the insurance policy that you took. It's question time. Mr. Zachary, let's go. My name is Zachary Abdul Karim, and I would like to speak to you. Director, I have to say, 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 Okay, Mr. Zachary, um, insurance policy near here, you know. First thing they say, you, you catch your insurance company, you know, the if you honor, and values, you know, you can't do it. 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 You can any in kick and honing in any submit on my insurance company, you know. Ada in your mind, back and home, they say, in your mana, near woofy hormono. You back a baby out torn on near G invoices, near the account, near the my insurance company, you know. As far as say, Nina, near what insurance policy in the solo insurance company in the amount. No, but his question is if the water took away his documentation. How are you going to ascertain that he is the one that's actually suffering the damage? Okay, so the thing is, the first thing, when you insure, we say we are covering your building to the tune of 100,000. We are covering content, so so and so items were in your house. So once the incident occurs, we have an, the insurer has an idea of the things that were in the house or the things that they are covering. The evidence that you will provide is the picture evidence of the flood actually occurring. And then uh, probably items that were damaged. How, picture about, evidence. how about proof of the policy? Proof of the policy, the insurer already has proof of the policy. And then your broker also has some kind of proof of the policy. So your broker will assist you and say, look, we, 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 we took cover for this much. And then these are the items that we took cover for. So once we are going to claim from the insurance company, all we have to do is give picture evidence of what was damaged. And then we'll back it with new invoices from uh, the places that you purchased. We submit it to the insurer, the insurer assesses it, and then the insurer pays. So Mr. Zachary, what he's saying is that don't go and lose your policy. Mm -hmm. But even if you lose it, your broker will help you get your claims. Insurance pays! Please, the next question. Thank you very much, Ochiami. My name is Steven Nopoku Amwakon. Um, I would like to ask Mr. Lai. Um, I have this policy. Okay, so I signed on to this um, insurance policy that covers flood. And my house happens to get flooded. And then somebody in my house dies as a result of the flood. Will the insurance company pay for the person's funeral or they will pay for the damage, including the person who died in the flood? 
Okay. So your insurance policy provides cover for property and assets. So once your asset is damaged or it is flooded, the insurance policy will pay for it. And then we call something liability. Once your insurance policy is extended to cover liability, if the flood occurs, and let's say your wall collapses, and then it, 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 it injures or kills someone, your insurance policy will pay for the person's funeral or any incidental costs associated with it. But if it carries your daughter away, uh, how, how do we deal with it? So your daughter in itself should, be, should, should have been covered under the, a life policy or a funeral policy. Once you had that in place, that policy will pay for her funeral, incidentals, and other things. So human beings are not part of property? No. Human beings are not part of property. But human beings, such as third parties to the contract, are covered under liability that is covered under the, the fire or flood insurance policy. Thank you, Mr. So assuming is the child, how do we deal with it? So your child is part of your household. It is assumed that you are the one we are insuring. So that person is part of you. So you should insure your household or the people, your family, for life insurance, uh, which will cover them in the event of any flood or accident that will happen on the road or any other place. So a life insurance policy will cater for you and then your family members once any incident occurs. My name is Salimoto. Mr. Lai, as, as we were talking earlier, you told us that you're educating people on flood insurance. So my question is, what is the industry doing to educate the vulnerable? So the, the uh, industry is going on um, campaigns around this flood time, uh, ensuring or speaking to people to insure their properties, uh, their buildings, their assets, their businesses, so that in the event of a flood occurring, you will be fully covered for these uh, incidents. I am learning a lot. I'm learning a lot. And then, but my question for you before we actually wrap up is that you said that the allied perils is attached to a fire yeah, insurance po policy. So what if I don't want to pay the fire insurance policy, but I just want to pay something small to cover my things for flood? How do we do it? So um, flood alone, usually, the insurers wouldn't just pick flood alone and provide you cover for. So it is the fire policy that you will pay for. Um, and then they will extend cover to the allied perils such as flood, earthquake, windstorm, others. Um, some other insurers will provide you all of that in one policy once you make payment for a fire policy. So speak to your broker and then your broker will be able to assist you in getting the best and cheapest kind of cover. Thank you very much. Please, let's clap for Mr. Lai. I'm learning a lot and now we we'll leave the comfort of our studio and go on social media to find out what people are saying about flooding and insurance in Ghana. And when we come back, we will wrap up and say thank you. See you. We'll be right back. And my sister, and me Columbia, and Mass, we are way down. But I form you, and also until I'm coming by, don't tell me about the no baby. But I'm only seven, twenty four years from my girl. So, the air bar at times, ever by times, and my air bar, the statistics are packy packy, and my baby, I debate a CV and I say, my father say, Saturday, Saturday, no day.
My name is Reginald Nilatila. I'm from Accra. I'm the one who managed and runs this margin park. I don't have any kid for now. When flood comes, it damages a lot of stars in my website. Especially the drain, the baby is not alcohol and alcohol. It damages some of my dreams for me. And moreover, uh, sometimes after the flood, I get these kind of electrical issues. My fridge will not be coming for some time. I'll be getting shocks from electrical issues. We get damages of um, this kind of uh, paper wine. Uh, electrical issues, breaking of bottles, breaking of whiskey, breaking of wine, breaking a lot of stuff. Sometimes you can't, sometimes when you leave money in the shop, it will become it has been taken by the flood. I don't know any insurance about flood, and me myself have no register, but I hope to register within some short time. Well, if the insurance will benefit me whereby if I'm paying every time and to benefit and secure me, I will definitely go for it. My name is Ahmed and I'm living at Palladio. I'm working at Udona. Uh, I'm doing uh, engineering work. Uh, yeah, this water was deep. It was disturbing us here. Sent from Rolling Stein. And they said that they would do something to help us, but we shouldn't see anything went to. Every time when the rain starting raining, too much of water came here. Even you can't even see our some you can't see, even see our car here because it's flattened too much. Sometimes it's carried away. Many people carrying even their buses enter to Udona inside and then went back to go and find it and they bring it back. Sometimes they can find it, sometimes they can't find it. Yeah, we heard of some of them saying that they are doing insurance, but if they shouldn't even come here to come and tell us this is what this and this was going on. So that's why we shouldn't do any insurance here. Oh, if some some is came here for the, for us, then we can register it because we need it. Insurance pays. Notify submit get paid. Insurance pays. You are welcome back to Recovery Stories, an initiative of the Insurance Awareness Coordinators Group and GIZ on TV3. And I just want to say thank you very much for staying glued, for being a part of this educative process. I also want to thank Mr. Lai of Arite Insurance for your time and energy and education. Let me say a very big thank you to my audience for uh, intelligent questions. Another thank you to everyone on social media for your intelligent contributions. And all that I want to say is that you are a young man, you are a young woman. You bought your TV set, you have your radio, you have your shoes, you bought your washing machine, you have all your little, little, little gadgets to make your life comfortable. And there's fire or there's rain and floods come to destroy all of this. For just 0.5%, you can insure all these in allied perils. So please, don't lose God. The prayers can do it, but they say that faith without action is bogus. This is my own biblical verse. So until we meet again on Recovery Stories, my name is Ochiame Kwame. Thank you very much. So even if you live on a hill, you have a cousin in the valleys. The rains are coming. Stay safe. Bye! This show is brought to you by Insurance Awareness Coordinators Group and the German Development Corporation through GIZ.